Mr. Secretary General, Donald Trump was very blunt yesterday in his speech. Did his bluntness shock you and the other leaders? I, we have seen that before. Uh, President Trump uh, has a blunt and direct style. Uh, and uh, this uh, plain speaking is something uh, we have seen before. And he expressed clearly uh, an, expect an expectation that uh, uh, European allies and Canada should invest more in defense. But the language may be different and the words may be different, but the core message is the same as we have heard before, also during the previous administration. But his attitude, though, didn't he ruffle some feathers among the other leaders? Well, he has his personal style. He has uh, his way to behave and to convey his message and his language and his blunt and direct uh, way of uh, saying that. Uh, but again, the important thing is the substance. And the substance is that we all agree that we need uh, fairer burden sharing and that those allies that uh, uh, spend uh, less than 2% of GDP on defense have to increase. Uh, uh, the good news is that that's exactly what has started to happen. Uh, if we look at uh, uh, NATO allies in Europe and Canada, in 2016, we had the first significant increase in defense spending after many, many years of uh, cuts. So, so we have turned the corner and started to move in the right direction. Does it bother you that the EU Council president said that he and Donald Trump probably aren't on the same position when it comes to Russia? Well, I was not uh, attending the meeting uh, uh, with the European uh, Union uh, with, with President uh, Tusk, but I know that NATO is uh, united in our common approach uh, to Russia, which is about credible deterrence and defense combined with political dialogue. And that's exactly what we are delivering on. We have implemented the strongest reinforcement of our collective defense since the end of the Cold War. At the same time, uh, NATO is engaged in a political dialogue with Russia because Russia is our biggest neighbor. Russia is there to stay. And we have to manage our relationship with Russia. We have to avoid a new Cold War. We don't seek confrontation with Russia. And therefore also our uh, uh, deployment of forces in the eastern part of the alliance is defensive, it's proportionate, uh, and uh, it's done in a way which uh, uh, sends a clear signal of uh, multinational presence, uh, NATO solidarity, without provoking a conflict, but actually aiming at uh, uh, preventing a conflict. We're going to have a um, discussion on Afghanistan, probably at the Defense Ministerial in June. Will that be the time when you take decision on the troop levels and how many? So most likely uh, we are now in the, mm, what we call fourth generation process and there will also be a fourth generation conference uh, uh, in June before the defense ministerial uh, meeting. Um, what is clear it does is that NATO allies will uh, continue uh, sustain our mission in Afghanistan. It's currently at around 13,000 troops. Uh, then uh, we have also agreed to have a more multi-year approach supporting the roadmap of, uh, roadmap of uh, President Ghani. And then we are then uh, assessing a request from our military commanders uh, to increase the troop levels with a few thousands. Uh, that has not yet been decided, but it's clear that it will continue. The exact troop levels will be decided uh, in uh, the coming weeks. Mr. Stoltenberg, thank you very much. Thank you.